Hey everybody and welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. <sighs> More like Sarah J. Grinch right now. Who else is feeling like the Grinch? I know I am. Mm. Uh, it is like, what, two, three weeks till Christmas? I don't even know anymore. And um, it's freaking 90 degrees outside right now. And I have to kind of rush through this video because my phone is going to overheat on my dash again in freaking December. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, this video is actually going to be a twofer. It's going to be a two for one because I literally do not have the time in my life to make all the Tesla videos that I want to right now. So I had talked about uh, making an additional little video telling y'all fun things that I learned when I got a flat tire and I had to get towed to the Tesla service center and that never happened. So I'm just going to tell y'all those two cool things now, and then we will move on to this more serious subject, which is the lane keeper. When I got towed to the Tesla service center, there is two things that I asked the guy that helped me there. And number one, <laughs> I said, when the heck is the Cybertruck coming? I put in my reservation. We reserved a Cybertruck a long time ago. And he said that he heard that they are trying to maybe, you know, start production on the Cybertrucks at the Austin, Texas factory in the first quarter of 2023. I want one so bad, but my husband said to get one, I have to sell my Model 3. And honestly, I don't really know if I am ready to do that. I love my Model 3 so much. I would sell the Model Y for sure to get the Tesla Cybertruck, even though I made a video why the Model Y is better than the Model 3. I personally prefer the Model 3. And if it's between my Model 3 and the Cybertruck, I don't know. I would have to test drive one first, but I would definitely trade in the Model Y, <laughs> my husband's, <laughs> to get the Cybertruck. Anyway, so really hoping that we get some more news on that soon. I have touched a Cybertruck at the Austin, Texas factory. If you want to see that, go check out my Cyber Rodeo video that I did. So I have touched one. I mean, eventually they will be here, but they're just not here yet. Second, I asked him, what's the deal with the Austin factory? I know they started production on some Teslas, how, but how do you know if your car is coming from Austin or if it's coming from California? Can you request a certain factory? And he said that what you can do is look at your VIN number and the seventh character from the last, so basically there's your VIN and then there's six numbers at the very end of your VIN and then right before that, the seventh character before the end is a letter and it is going to be either an F or an A. If it's an F and it's made in Fremont, California and if it is an A, then it is made in Austin, Texas at the new Tesla factory, which is close to me. Now let's get into this more serious subject. Since I have had my car, I have activated all of the safety features because why not? That makes the car safer, right? The more safety features you have activated, the safer the car must be. However, we have a lot of construction where I live in Houston, Texas. I have told you this a million times and it has not changed over the last two years. It's only gotten worse. Uh, let me just make sure I'm referring to this correctly. We're going to go to autopilot. It is under autopilot, but this has nothing to do with autopilot or full self-driving or even um, cruise control. It has nothing to do with that. Lane departure avoidance. Lane departure avoidance will warn or assist with corrective steering when your vehicle starts to drift out of the lane without a turn signal. Whether you use the safety feature or not, you must always pay attention and maintain control. Sorry, someone's calling me because it cannot prevent every lane departure. And just like it says there, it's not consistent. This is when you have full control of the car, none of those features are activated, and you just have uh, lane departure avoidance in assist. You have three options. You have off, you have warning, and you have assist for lane departure avoidance. This has literally nothing to do with full self-driving or autopilot. Um, or really cruise control. It's just when you're driving the car, if you start to go over the line or get onto the line of your lane, the car will shift you back to the center of your lane. It will keep you from going over that line into another lane or onto the shoulder. That is all it's for. A lot of other cars have this feature too that are not Teslas and have no autopilot or full self-driving, you know? I have kept this activated because I thought, you know, what if, I turn to look at another car and I start to swerve into the lane or 
I, I don't know. I'm just worried that in a what if situation, I would like it to keep me in my lane, right? Well, that is not always the case. There has been three instances and it happened every single time without fail in those three areas where my car got confused and it was trying to keep me in the lane, but it really wasn't. And that is because of old washed out white paint lines on the highway or on the um, entrance ramp and the car freaks out and gets confused. You can think of your Tesla as like a toddler, a human toddler or a puppy. And it's like, you're trying to help it learn and do the right thing. And you're there to make sure that nothing really bad happens, but you want it to kind of learn on its own. Your Tesla is kind of like that. Even in autopilot, I always, always, always have my hands on the wheel. Um, even if it's just one hand at the bottom of my wheel, it is wrapped all the way around, gripping on to make sure that I can immediately take control within one second if something happens, because I've had many instances where I did have to take over. Whether it was in cruise control, autopilot, full self-driving, subscription, all those things. But you wouldn't expect it when you have complete control over the car and none of those things are engaged. In all of these instances, I did not have cruise control engaged. I did not have autopilot engaged. I did not have auto steer engaged. I did not have full self-driving. Um, I currently do not have full self-driving at all. I got rid of my subscription because I decided it was not worth it for me at all. Um, it's just not something that I'm personally interested in. It doesn't mean it's not good for you, but it's not good for me. I don't personally care for it. So what happens is you're driving along, right? And you know that there's old lane, old lane lines across your lane and you see them and you're like, I don't care, whatever. I have complete control over my car. I don't have to worry about autopilot freaking out or whatever. And then all of a sudden your car jerks like this. This has happened to me every single time without fail in at least three areas. I do have a video of one of the areas that happens every single Thursday on the way home from work. And I have to be in that lane because my exit is directly after that. I have finally decided this week that I am not going to have assist on anymore for the lane departure avoidance. I put it on warning. And actually when I switched it to warning, it didn't even do anything. So when I have it on assist, my car does freak out and try to throw me into the lane next to me, regardless of if there's a car there or not. But if I have it on warning, my car literally doesn't do anything. It's basically like having it off. This may not be like it in all situations, but for these situations I'm talking about, the warning didn't care. All of a sudden your car tries to pull you into the other lane or into the shoulder or into the wall of the freeway. I have had all three things happen. I've also had um, it where it tried to pull me into the barrels, the construction barrels, because they created a new entrance ramp onto the freeway, onto the beltway by my house. And so there's old lines that go directly across that entrance ramp because it used to be the freeway there, but now it's an entrance going across the old lines. So my car freaked out there too. It's always been because of white lines that are washed out on the road. It confuses the car and the car is like, holy crap, oh my God, we're not in the lane anymore. What's happening? This is the shoulder or whatever. And it tries to jerk you over and protect you and get you out of that area. When actually you're in a lane and you're in the correct lane and you need to stay there. Of course, I have an Amazon package being delivered right now while I'm filming. I'll take it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, have a great you too. every time either that or pizza okay anyway your car is trying to protect you and your car is usually doing a great job i absolutely love my car and when it comes to safety features it, it's pretty awesome and autopilot is awesome too <laughs> now i have neighbors walking across in front of my car i'm not blocking the driveway or the uh sidewalk but i almost am i'm like right against the sidewalk anyway ugh, all these people think i'm crazy your car is trying to protect you but it's just a machine and I'm not, this isn't Tesla's fault, okay? I'm not like, oh, you know, freaking lane departure avoidance is gonna kill you or, um, you know, it's Tesla's fault or Tesla sucks or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, these cars are advancing literally by the minute. And I, I mean that, and I know that to be absolutely true 
because my car drives way better now than it did two years ago when I took delivery of it. There's areas that my car could not drive before on autopilot, but it can now with no problem at all. It merges just fine there. It deals with lanes um, merging and then going into two lanes and it will stay in the right lane. Uh, it doesn't freak out about exits being next to me anymore. And again, I don't have full self-driving. I just have the basic auto steer that comes for free with the car. The main thing that I'm trying to say here is I'm not trying to bash Tesla, but I know a lot of you are taking delivery and you're playing with all these new features. You need to be aware. If you have assist activated on lane departure avoidance under the autopilot area in your screen, you might be driving in complete control of your car and not think that the car is going to do anything stupid, but it will. I don't know how far it would go because I'm holding onto the wheel and obviously I'm not gonna let it wreck my car. It's finally time to make the decision. I, I'm i better at staying in my own lane and being safe than my car is. I just want you to be really, really aware of old washed out white lines because they will mess stuff up. Even if you think you're in complete control, if you have that activated, the car will try to take over and protect you and it may get confused there. So uh, I'm gonna show you this video now. And unfortunately, this is the only one that I have to show you because it's the only safe one that I could film for you. If you watch very closely, I have two videos of it, one from my dash cam and one from my cell phone. But if you watch the car's license plate in front of me, there comes to a point where it's directly in front of me and then you see the car veer to the left a little bit. So my car is like, holy crap, we are suddenly on like a closed area of the road that we're not supposed to be on at all. And so it tries to get over to the lanes to the left of me because it sees that those are real lanes and it thinks that my lane is not a real lane. So watch, my car is gonna veer to the left right here. And I corrected it and pulled it back to the right. just keep an eye out for this. It's up to you. You make the decision. If you have a lot of construction where you live, you should probably turn off the assist. You can leave it on warning if you want. It's not going to do anything but beep at you. I don't want somebody to wreck their car because they had a safety feature activated and didn't realize that your car still gets confused in these areas and then you end up wrecking your car trying to be safe. Like it's just stupid. And I want to have one more little rant. I'm sorry, but um, one of my friends that I work with, she just got a Tesla and she actually didn't even know that I have one. She didn't even know I have a YouTube channel. Uh, we're basically work acquaintances and she just had a newborn baby and she's still breastfeeding. I know it's a lot of information, but she told me she got her car. And so I immediately asked her the first thing I said, do you use autopilot? And she said, yeah, sometimes I use autopilot. And I said, well, did you get full self-driving? And she said, yeah, we tried out the subscription for a few months, but we didn't really like it. It's just not there yet. And it's just really confusing and you can't trust it and it's not consistent. So we got rid of it. And I was like, okay, so you use the um, auto steer sometimes. And she was like, yes. And I said, do you ever take your eyes off the road when you're using auto steer? And she was like, no, not really. But um, sometimes, you know, I'm adjusting my breast pump, you know, on the way to work or whatever. She has like a portable one. And I'm trying to do that when I'm driving. She's like, I'm paying attention, but you know, I'm kind of trying to adjust and whatever. And I said, do not ever for one half of a second, not for one millisecond. A second is very, very long when you're doing 75 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour. Do not ever for any portion of a second, take your eyes off of the road when you are in autopilot. If you would not take your eyes off the road that long when you are in control of the car, then you should not be taking your eyes off the road for that long when you are in autopilot. It will hit things it will make mistakes. Tesla's freaking amazing. I love Tesla. I am not a Tesla fanboy, even though I absolutely adore my car and I don't want anything but Tesla for the rest of my life. That doesn't mean that I'm going to lie to people and put them in a bad situation and make them think that they can trust this car when they can't. It's not there yet. There's too many factors, too many variables. Please, for God's sake, don't do anything on autopilot that you would not do when you are in full control of the car. Okay, please just don't do it. It's not worth it. I mean, can you imagine if she got in an accident or something with her newborn baby and her other kid in the car? Because other people make these Tesla videos where they make it look like you can just sleep or put your dog in the car or do whatever you want with these cars. They're not there yet, okay? Please be careful. Please, please, please be careful.
I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for ranting, but it's just, I've been giving a lot of teenagers rides in my car lately and listening to them talk and other people. And they're just, they're really not educated enough to be safely driving these cars. So please spread the word that you need to be careful. I hope everyone has happy holidays. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for supporting me. And I'm sorry I have not gotten to all of your comments. It's finally gotten to a point after two years, I don't think I can get to everyone's comments anymore, but I do appreciate them. I am reading them and I'm trying to, you know, find the important ones when you have questions and try to answer those first. Please take care. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and I will see y'all next time.